Could you do any better on, on this three? Morning, how's it going? Good. Good, how are you? What do you guys got on your shirts? 15 a piece. 15 a piece? Okay. Right okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, nice with the tags on them still. Oh, they, they never been worn. It's got yeah. Adam in his this is probably boring that one had some stains on it unless it was just storage related i guess which one's that this uh i'm not saying it didn't wear all of them oh yeah but i see some of them weren't worn for sure yeah who's this guy which one got the stains that one a little bit you can see on the white in this area here oh okay. not too bad and maybe it would wash out potentially yeah on me that'll look clean well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could you do any better on, on this three? No, nah, 15 a piece, because I paid him 10 a piece. I'm not making a lot. Okay, all right. Keep dropping them here. Actually, on the three, I'll do 40. 40? Is that Washington one? I don't think you'll ever see that here. Yeah, I don't do long sleeve as much. Those are, uh, these are all long sleeve, I this think. One? They were in the basement of... No, this I'll take these three. 40. Thank you. Thank you. So you got three. Good. Yes, I left the long sleeves. All right. Good. You left the good ones. Yeah. I'm, I don't wear long sleeve shirts. I'll wear t shirts, and but I know a lot of people like them more. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, depends on the season, right? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> I might have a bag. No, that's all right. I'm right inside, so I, I set up inside. So I'll just roll oh, them up. And... Too? Yeah, yep. What kind of stuff? Sports. Oh, All sports, great. yeah. That's Thank you. Appreciate it. Good morning. How's it going? Okay, so this is my booth that I share with a buddy of mine, and uh, I was just stashing the t-shirts that I bought in the booth, but then I noticed he had put in some Flyers jerseys. I guess he put them in earlier that morning, so I was looking at them here, and then later on, I did end up buying them, which you'll see at my recap at the end. Uh, the booth is a bit of a mess because we had both done a show very recently. Hey Seth, how's it going, man? Good, yourself? Good. Yeah, yeah, this 
it's like a month almost, I guess. Had a, I did a clothing show, and then last week, uh, Eagles played early, so it, it was not a great day, so it wasn't worth coming out for like a half an hour, hour. Yeah, that was against the Steelers, right? Yeah. You were there? Yep. Yeah. Was that, was that last week? It's all blunt. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They played Thursday. It's, it's been a weird week. Oh, they played this Thursday. Yeah. Did they win again? Yeah. Seven and now? Eight. Eight. Eight now, yeah. Eight. Pretty organized in here right now. Yes, it yeah, is. yeah. Spacious. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, cool. Thank you. You ever find a Medico Kai Temple football 15 bucks. piece? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you looking for that? Huh? Is that your, your uh, grandfather? Yeah, he was in medical school when they played Temple. So he didn't overlap with uh, Brailier, right? He he was My he was medical. My was in medical school from nineteen. He graduated in nineteen six. I think Brailier might have been there like oh one. He was like, uh, it was. Uh, I have a postcard of the medical college football team from oh, yeah? five, but I don't know who's on it. I've had that postcard too. I don't think he's on that one. But I think he was like maybe 99 to 01 or something. I, I had to look it up. My grandfather graduated in Westchester in 01, so he wasn't there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to interject here one second just to explain what my friend Charlie and I were talking about. He had mentioned his grandfather had went to Medico Chai, which is a medical school in Philadelphia. I was asking if he had went to school with John Brailier. And John Brailier was, for a long time considered the first professional football player. Later, that moniker went to Pudge Heffelfinger, uh, but John Brellier played and was paid to play in 1895 for the Latrobe Athletic Association. So anyway, I think it figured I would give that little bit of uh, pro football history there, and now back to the video. It's, it's a little pocket schedule, Temple, 29. I like it because it's uh, Heine Miller. I think I'm 150 for everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can do that. Okay. It's cool group stuff. Yeah. Perfect. When we interrupt right, you, thank you so 150. much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, same here. All right, this part of the video, I had already taken off my GoPro, and then I, I found a dealer who had a ton of vintage clothing that I never saw before. So I did do a little filming with my phone at the best quality video here, but you'll see I do find a pretty cool shirt. Is your stuff on the side, sir, too? Yeah. Okay. I grab one t-shirt here. I'll come over there. Can I lay this here a second? Is that right? Sure. So. You had a, it's a $6, I assume, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's soft. I like a vintage soft tees. I, I mainly buy like vintage clothing, sports stuff, jerseys, that kind of stuff. All right, so back from the flea market this morning. Decent amount of stuff. So I bought a group of uh, 1920s Temple Sports Ephemera. So the, in that group, first there was a 1927 Dartmouth Temple program, 1930 Navy Temple uh, baseball program, and then a 29, I think, uh, Temple pocket schedule. And if you look, I thought it was cool that the coach for Temple at that point, Henry Miller, also known as Heine Miller, he was an early professional player, played for the Frankfurt Yellow Jackets, but a die cut in the shape of a Spalding football. Then there's a small Temple University pinback button. It says the Lincoln Way. Uh, so I'm not sure what's up with that button, but so there's $150 for that group. Not a ton of money to be made on that group, but uh, I think I'll be able to make a profit just selling the program and the pocket schedule. The rest will be a little bonus. Then a buddy came up to me 
and said, hey, did you see that army banner back there? I'm like, no. So we went back and looked at it. I gave him my thoughts on it. And we called the owner over, asked how much, and he gave us a price. My buddy spotted it first, so I didn't want to step on his toes, but I sort of negotiated for him. The dealer was asking 75, we got it down to 70. Um, so my buddy bought it for $70 and I ended up buying it from him for $90. So it gave him a quick profit on it. But I love early uh, pennants and banners. And this one's a nice early one. It has some flaws, but great with the, the little army mule and flag. So we got $90 for that. Then I bought a bunch of clothing. So the first, uh, I didn't catch these on camera, but I bought three early to mid 80s Flyers jerseys. One's an adult small, the rest are youth large, but they're Dave Pullen. Pretty high end, pretty high quality jerseys. Dave Pullen, this one's a Scott Mellonby. Oh, I'm sorry, Derek Smith on this one. And then this one's a Scott Mellonby. So pretty well made. I paid uh, 125 for the three. Uh, this was my favorite thing I picked up in the morning. So this is a Don't Bug Me Watergate single stitch t-shirt. An early an early shirt. I think it, it probably is contemporary to Watergate, uh, but it, it's so soft. I would keep that if it, was, uh, if it wasn't a size medium, if it was like a large, but I thought it was a cool t-shirt and that was only, uh, only six bucks. So that was a good buy. And then I bought three modern t-shirts. So these shirts are dead stock from 2003, the first game at Lincoln Financial Field, Eagles, Buccaneers. Still has the, the tagging. The other one's the same same game, 2003. I was at that game. Um, so I, I generally don't buy, this is more modern than what I would buy, but I do know that a lot of the younger generation who are buying vintage clothing are buying stuff from this era. I know this is not vintage yet, but still, I think I thought it was a, a good buy. It, they were $15 each in the 2004 Eagles. I got them to do 40 for the group of three. So... Not a ton of profit there. I'll probably get about 30 each for them, but still thought they were cool. So I did pick them up. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe. Mm -hmm.